During World War I, the track structure had proven to be excellent for off-road driving. However, purely tracked vehicles were too expensive to produce, and after the war, European countries were financially tight. Therefore, the design tended toward small, lightly armored vehicles. The idea of combining the performance of tracked vehicles and automobiles into a half-track vehicle was also being explored. The Burford Cogress 30 CWT half-track vehicle was an early exploration model in the UK. In the mid-1920s, the automobile manufacturer Burford Company modified a half-track vehicle based on its 4x2 structure 1.5-ton truck. The prototype was launched in 1926 and successfully passed military tests. The British Army was satisfied with it and placed small orders that year. The structure of the Burford Cogress 30 CWT half-track vehicle is not complicated. The engine compartment, driver's cab, and crew compartment are all protected by riveted thin steel plates with a thickness ranging from 4 to 8 mm. However, the shape of the armor plates is strange, and both the driver's cab and crew compartment are open at the top, with the heads of the driver and crew exposed when seated normally. The armored plate of the driver's cab is inclined towards the front of the vehicle at a 45-degree angle, and the front of the vehicle has a hinged door, which is helpful for engine maintenance and can be closed for protection during combat. The engine is an American water-cooled gasoline engine. Inside the crew compartment, there are two rows of benches on both sides that can carry eight soldiers. In the front left of the crew compartment, there is a ring-mounted machine gun platform with two 7.7mm Vickers water-cooled machine guns for anti-aircraft and ground attack missions. However, due to its low position, it is not suitable for close ground targets. At the rear of the crew compartment, there is a hinged armored door for soldiers to enter and exit. The track structure of the vehicle is essentially an improvement on the original double-axle structure, with the installation of a small set of tracks. The drive wheel is at the front, with four pairs of small-diameter load-bearing wheels and a steel plate spring buffer structure. The metal track structure at the time had a very short lifespan, so Burford Company designed and manufactured rubber tracks, which reduced noise during driving and increased comfort compared to metal tracks. The armored vehicle is equipped with a crew of two, with the driver on the right side of the driver's cab and the vehicle commander on the left. The vehicle commander is responsible for observing the ground situation, directing the driver, and guiding the crew in combat. Although the Burford Cogress 30 CWT armored vehicle was initially approved by the military, the British Army gradually discovered several problems with the vehicle. The main issue was the poor durability of the track structure. The early use of rubber tracks designed by Burford Company was acceptable, but over time, they quickly wore out and developed cracks. Additionally, the half-track vehicle, based on a 1.5-ton truck, was modified to a weight of approximately 2.5 tons after the modification, exceeding the vehicle's load-bearing capacity when crew and weapons were added. This caused the center of gravity to rise, resulting in twisting during off-road driving. There were also design flaws, and the exposure of the driver and vehicle commander's heads to light weapons on the battlefield severely affected their performance. Few would risk exposing their heads outside the vehicle in a battlefield with flying bullets, as it was essentially inviting disaster. Perhaps even the British Army could not tolerate this type of half-track vehicle. After about two years of service, they were all retired in 1929. After removing the usable parts, the remaining vehicles were scrapped. The Burford Cogress 30 CWT half-track vehicle was at a technological crossroads, representing an early attempt by the UK at a half-track vehicle. However, the track technology at the time was not up to par, and the design concept of the half-track vehicle was immature. This, combined with the strange armor design given to it by the designer, ultimately doomed its future. It is unclear how things actually were, but after that, the UK did not focus on half-track vehicles and instead concentrated on small-tracked vehicles such as the Bren gun carrier. Perhaps the disappointment with the Burford Cogress 30 CWT half-track vehicle was the reason for this shift in focus.